who would have thought that this dry, arid, desert area is the home of hundreds of underground tombs? 1400 are known. These tombs date from the Wei and Western Jing period, 265 to 420 AD. It was a period of extensive drought and great famine, with many people dying from starvation. Coming in from the desert, we arrive in a small, fertile courtyard. This is the public information and museum site for the tomb visit. Although there are many tombs here, only one or two are open for public inspection. Unfortunately, no photography or filming is permitted in the tombs. However, we can film in the museum. Each of the individual tombs can be one or two chambers in size. And because of the artwork they contain, the tombs are often called the world's greatest underground art gallery. Besides samples of the coffins from the period, we have examples of the tomb art. These photos show what entrances to the tombs looks like. The tomb art is considered to be very precious and an important historical resource. 132 brick murals have been recovered from tomb 6. These brick paintings give a fascinating impression of what life in the area was like nearly 2,000 years ago. We see animal grazing, farming activities, hunting, harvesting the mulberry, cooking food, eating and serving, and a variety of other activities from everyday life. The museum also has examples of tiles from the period. There are various metal objects, such as buttons and buckles. There are inscriptions and ceramics. So our brief but fascinating visit comes to an end.